Hello guys, this is our Open Source channel and uh, welcome again, new episode on how to. Uh, today I'm uh, going to do something a little bit different, never done before. Um, the actual Cobalt 4 project is going to be uh, done later on in the future. I did buy the uh, Ace of Veriton, I'm going to strip it down and I'm going to use the board and also I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino Uno. I already got the Arduino and I also got the Raspberry Pi but uh, I just ordered a new one so I'll be waiting until I get that delivered so I can start and make the videos. Anyway, don't forget you can uh, follow me on Facebook and you can also follow me on uh, Twitter and of course all the videos are on YouTube. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share as much as you like so I can make more videos. Here we go, today I'm uh, going to show you how to uh, start with Elementor. Elementor is a plugin that will make it easier for you to compose pages in WordPress. Now this is a brand new uh, installation of WordPress and I got the uh, default template I think is the uh, 2016 and I'm going to leave it as it is because that's what I'm going to use it for now. Um, I'm not going to use the uh, 15 or the 14 so let's start with this one now the first thing i'm going to do now i'm going to uh, install the plugins and i'm going to press add new and i'm going to search for the elementor now there are a few um, plugins the first one you want to do and this is the main one is the elementor page builder And after I done this one here, I'm going to also install the Elementor page template te or template or whatever it is. And also I'm going to install the Elementor add-on elements. And if you want, you can do the Elementor add-on widgets. Hey, let's do this one as well. Uh, you never done it before. This is the first time. I'm gonna do this one here. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do if I go on install plug plugins, uh, I could activate it one each one away. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to click plugins here, and I'm going to remove that as well because I don't need it. And I'm going to choose activate and then press apply. So what I done, I automatically enabled or but I done activate all the uh, plugins that I just downloaded and uh, installed. Now, as you can see here, the uh, page is still the same. Even if I refresh, nothing you know has changed. Now, the beauty with Elementor, you can actually build easily with blocks, uh, you know, any kind of pages. Now, I'm going to create a new page. And add new, and I'm going to call it home page. I'm going to choose Elementor full width blank, or you can have the standard. Let's have a standard first, then I'm going to publish it. Now, I'm going to go to reading. I'm going to open this one here. And I'm going to choose a static page. Uh, I made a mistake on the this. Yeah, front page, home page. And I'm going to save it. 
So what happens, I have chosen the new page that I just created as the home page. So now when I refresh, I should have a blank, as you can see here, template. It's not totally blank because I have chosen, uh, let me close this one. I have chosen the standard, but if I go to blank and update again, and then I refresh this page, that will totally go and I'll have a, a totally blank page, you know, where I can actually start to work. Um, I go back to the standard and update again. Once done so, I'm going to click Edit with Elementor. So what we're going, you know, what's going to happen now is we're going to full screen uh, editor where you can actually start and build your page. You have already here ready made templates. Here will be all your saved templates or part of the templates or blocks. And here are ready-made, as you can see, templates. Now, to add those templates is very, very simple. Let's say we lack this one here. All I got to do is just press Insert. And it should update in a few seconds. It all depends as well the uh, type of server you're using. I'm using a local one and uh, it's quite slow today as I'm running uh, many other things on it. There we go, that's been done as you can see. So once everything's been, you know, uh, updated, I'm going to press save. And when I go back here and I refresh the page, we should see the newly created page, as you can see here. That is very simple to use and very fast to use. And to be honest with you, it really looks good with minimal effort. You know, here you can, as you can see, just click on that. Here you can add new images. Now, on this, uh, you can add the menu. So if I go back to the dashboard, and I'm uh, going to update before I'm going to lose it. I don't think you have to update as long as you saved in Elementor, but just in case I press update. Now I'm going to Appearance, Menu, And I'm going to create a new menu. I'm going to call it main, create menu. I'm going to add home page. Here I can rename it just home if I wanted to. I'm going to save it before I lose it. I can add custom menu. In this case, I'm going to create a new one here just to make, uh, you know, extra entries on the menu. And I'm going to save it again. Going back to the uh, main page and I'm going to refresh it. Now I should have also the menu appeared. Well, I should somewhere. No, I wouldn't tonight because I forgot to do the most important part of it where you're going to go to appearance, customize, and then you need to change, you know, you need to change it. I could change it here actually, but just in case you want to know exactly how to do it, you can actually change from here the customs, uh, customize menu and 
select main and I will see now you will see that the actual menu will appear here on the right side then I'm going to press save I'm going back and what I'm going to do here on settings in general I'm going to remove that and I'm going to replace OSC with uh, let's say the name or just say logo here or whatever you can actually add the logo there if you wanted to I'm going to refresh and as you can see you got logo and you got the two menu here as you can see it's very fast easy to use this is not a full blown uh, tutorial on how to use uh, Elementor it's just something to show you that you know there is this kind of a plugins it's quite good and most of all is free to use and you know don't forget I like to use a lot of things that are free so um, let's go back to okay, let's go back to pages or pages I'm going to edit with Elementor now the issue here and um, and I'm going to show you the same thing here, but I'm going to do it in a totally different way. That when I chose the, the standard, you will get the header, where is the actual uh, logo and the menu over the actual template. But if I go back again here and I go to the dashboard, I'm going to create a new page. That is exactly like the home page, but it's not the home page. Let's say second page. All right. And I'm going to use this time the blank publish. I'm going to edit again with Elementor. I'm going to add the template again and I'm going to insert exactly the same page so or the actual the same template you want to call it and I'm going to save it that's been saved I'm going back to the dashboard Now I'm going to load the page and I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Right, this is with header, you know, the actual standard that comes, that, you know, it's going to use the, your template header, you know, and this one is exactly the same thing, but it's the totally blank one. And as you can see, there is no header. Now here you can add, if you wanted to, a logo and the menu. And uh, what you got to do is if I go back to the page itself again, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the text editor and I'm going to create the menu. How am I going to do that? It's very simple. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to add a small menu. Okay, so I've done that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let's see uh, style I'm going to center it I'm going to change the topography to custom change the color to whatever color I want so let's say I want it this kind of a yellow
if I can find it. There we go. I'm going to leave it like that to make it easy for me. Um, here you can do all uppercase, all lowercase, or you can capitalize. That's more or less like the uh, the default, except the ass is not being capitalized. Uh, that's line weight. You can uh, change that, as you can see. Letter, letter spacing. I'm going to add a little bit here. The family, I'm going to change different type of uh, fonts. Let's say I want Arial. I'm going to add a bigger fonts here. Let's say 25. Then I'm going to add the vans and I'm going to uh, change the paddings. And I'm going to have a little bit more space at the bottom. Let's say about 40 pixels. Here we go. Go back to the content. And I'm going to add uh, a link. Let's say I'm going to do this for the home. Portfolio and also contact us. There we go. Don't forget to save it. Then I'm going to dashboard and I'm going to view the page and see how it looks. And as you can see now, we have uh, without header and we have the menu on the top. Those colors can be easily changed uh, by the uh, the appearance of the template. And as you can see, you got a very simple, easy to use and easy to make web page. Thanks again for uh, following this uh, tutorial. I'll see you next time. It's not going to be uh, in on your know, usual time in a couple of weeks. Maybe it's going to be between four and five. Unfortunately, I got to go to hospital for an operation. So uh, as soon as I come out, I'm going to make new videos. Thanks again. I'll uh, see you next time.